M0FXB, welcome to my Digi Rig videos. Now I've just got this. I'm so surprised how small it is. Now, I did get a bargain on Amazon. It was only about £50. That sounds a lot for such a small device, but it enables your older radios via USB C to basically connect to your PC laptop. Now I've, at the moment I've just bought the cables that are for my Yesu 857. I've got the 897, the 450, the 817. So I've got a lot, you know, I'm definitely gonna get my money's worth from these cables and that was why I chose them first. But they are, they're not low price cables. They're, they're only nearly 40 pound and I'm buying them from places where I can get a good deal. I mean, these came from America. Yeah, and we you know the tariffs were not did not affect the price so one of these is a six pin classic six pin connection in most yesu devices and uh the other one's an eight pin now these devices they don't just work with hf radios we're going to be doing hf today with wsjtx uh on this and i've not done it yet so i'm quite excited to do it so we're just going to connect these two cables on the back i will show you let's take this out of the box i will keep this box i mean come on 50 pound i'm not going to throw it away am i um uh, it's tiny, but you know, it has an amazing reputation of I've got quite a few of these interfaces They nearly always have uh, a serial and an audio or a mic and an audio. Okay, that is tiny But it is very good, you know, very good quality. So let's just get a little close-up on it before we start tinkering So it's so small. There's my thumb Probably a good thing so if you look at the two cables that I got and they, you know, I specifically Googled what cables do I need to use on my Yesu 857 and it came up with this. One's got a black connector on it. One's got a green connector on it. So, um, it, you know, and luckily if you look at the the device marked green and black. So we plugged the, the Yesu in, of course, beautiful set. I love my 857, never sell that. And uh, we plugged it in. Also, we've got a HF antenna connected, a uh, long wire, 49 to 1 balance. We're only going to do QRP. Um, and let's get the two cables, cables in the back and then we'll connect to the DigiRig. And then just a normal, decent, good quality USB-C cable to, to normal USB that's going to connect to my normal Windows and I'm on Windows 11 PC. So when I zoom in like that at the back, you can quite clearly see that one is six pin. It's got that very clear nodule on the just on the right there you can see it and then the eight pin on the left go really careful do not rush connecting these in there when when you've got them lined up correctly they'll go in easily you don't have to push very hard so we'll just get them in and you'll see that the left one has three pins to the top you know near the top of the radio and let me show you the the connector you can see there's clearly three pins to the top You've got that little nodule there. The bottom has got like a, almost like a scoop. So you want the, the nodule at the top. Yeah, and because that was lined up correctly, it went in very easily. So the next one has that very distinct black thing right in the middle, okay? And then you've got two pins at the bottom. There's your nodule at the top there again. And you'll see there's two pins at the bottom. So the nodule at the top. Excellent, they've gone in nicely, good quality cables. So next, black to black and green to green, and it is marked serial. Okay, there you go. And there's our USB-C. And as soon as I plug that into the PC, I could hear that the PC had detected something. Of course you need a data cable. Uh, you know, just make sure you, if you get a good quality one, then nearly always they're data. If you grab the one that came free with one of your Bofeng radios, then no, forget it. So I'm going to do a better video as well, but I'm just showing you that I fired up WSJTX. There's loads of errors because I haven't connected it yet. Okay, we've got it all working. We've downloaded WSJTX. Let me show you my settings on the software and within the actual radio. There's a couple of bits you need to tweak but let me first of all just show you the settings now you do my a tip i think for wsjtx is to remember that you need to reboot your computer a couple of times restart the software turn the radio on and off uh, and then it all just you know after you've done you know you've got the correct settings it starts to work and i find this has happened for years and years a uh, bit of a tip from me there. So anyway, so first thing, cables connected. You just will need to know what your comm number is. So right click on your Windows Device Manager. And um, you get this window here. 
You shouldn't need to install any drivers. And mine has just come up with Silicon Labs there and it's COM2, okay? Um, right click on it as well, properties and on a Yaesu 857, I recommend you use 38400, that's because it works for me. And which is what we're on, that's the board rate, the speed of the transmission. Okay, yeah, this is going well, isn't it? If I have uh, at least one contact. Um, and then it should just go on. But other, uh, oh, anyway, let's just show you the setting. <laughs> I'm getting too excited now because I've had a couple of contacts. Grid, grid tracker is my next uh, little video. So um, you've got that. It's connected. So then you go over to File Settings. Okay. In this window here, you go to General, and I've selected M0FXB, my grid name, and that is it. I've done nothing else in that window. Uh, then on radio, I've selected JSU 857 that you can see here. COM2 that we just talked about, the board rate 38400. I mean, this little tiny thing is working amazing. It really is. And then just here, cat, and you don't touch here where it says port. You don't touch that. Um, and I haven't touched any of these either. Now, maybe there's better settings, but for me, I haven't touched anything. Let's just click enable. Oh, it's still TXing, yeah. So there's a new one there, 2E0, KKH. Hello. If you're watching this video, uh, thank you very much. Same goes for GM4CXF that we just had a contact with as well. And this is fun. I want 10 watts. To be honest with you, I'm pushing my luck a bit with the SWR, um, but I just put it down to 10 watts. I know it's under three and I'm just risking it, to be honest. Um, so anyway, and then on audio, now you, you may have different, a different item listed here but for me it says three usb audio device but all you do is just look at the other connectors like i know it's not my microphone on this video that i'm making yeah i know it's not my other microphone which is the virtual b audio cable because i'm not even using that there's only one left so it has to be the one that's left okay and you put it on microphone and speaker match them up they'll be the same i haven't changed any of this although i may need to change something when we when I set up the grid tracker but I'm going to do that separately look at that you can change the colors and it so once that's done now regarding the radio let's just show you here if I can zoom in a bit better on the radio so you, you chip it is controlling the frequency completely uh, on the radio but you still need to, as far as I maybe it will find the digi mode on its own, but I just selected it as well. You just go up and down with the mode. I'm not gonna do it because it'll ruin it. Up and down with your mode buttons until it says Digi. Now, regarding the settings, hold down your F, okay? Hold down your F here. And there's a few settings you need to put in. So, it's definitely not the color. Now, first of all, I would go to number one. And just make sure that's turned on. It gives you your extended menu. After that, zip across to, and I'm actually watching my video I made on this. So I'll link in the description that talks you through the radio settings. So turn to 1919 and just make sure that you turn the big knob and it's 38400. Then you can turn it to 20 and I've got that on cat. Now turn to 37. It's slightly different for the 817897, but not, not very different. So anyway, 31, uh, no, let's get it right. That's actually 37. Now I didn't change it, but it's on 50, yeah? And then we go to the next one is 38 digi mode, which is user U. And then the next one is on, on zero as well. Look, zero, number 40 is on zero. And you could set your power. It's going through on 70, 75, mine's on just 10 watts. Pretty sure, I don't think I've missed anything. Back out. It's in transmit now, as you can see. You see the, the red there as it goes into transmit. Let's bring that in again so you can see what we're up to. You see a green one receive, red on transmit. Oh, it's a lovely setting. I love my uh, old older radios. I, I like all radios, don't get me wrong. I, I you know, 
Uh, I really like tinkering with my older radio. That's why I keep them all. Uh, it's way more fun. So yeah, once you do that, then what I do is on this grid here, I tend to just uh, go to a space, yeah? And I'm, I'm only telling you what I do, not what's recommended. Right click where there's a gap, and I go right click and I go set. I do that every time, okay? Um, and then back to the main window. I just uh, go into my audio settings, which I did just now, and just find that, so if you right click on speakers, sound settings, you get this window and it, the one that you really, it's the microphone, go down to microphone, see this slider here, uh, just move it up and down so that the left bit here and the bottom left corner isn't red. You just want it green. Okay, that's all I do. You can make, play around with the little power thing here as well on the right and just here you've got that slider you can move that up and down uh, and you know the idea is you keep an eye on your ALC uh, I never really need to do it I just move it a bit and then I start to get contacts um, so that always works and then when you're ready you just click enable TX okay once you do that it will go into auto mode now if you're getting lots of errors and and hi to um, M0KCL thanks for the contact and it's still going there and it gives you uh, the signal report etc and so grid tracker which is in my next video the sorry about resetting that in my next video uh, I'll just show you grid tracker so here it is here and it, you link it with just by settings yeah you link it to your WSJTX I'm sure it will link to other programs and once you, you've done that, you get these really cool maps and you can see the live transmissions. Now, of course, there's a lot more to grid tracker than just seeing funky lines on the screen. But that's that's what did it for me when I first used it. Many years actually before COVID. So I'm definitely going to make that my next video. So thank you very much. We definitely had some contacts. Hi again to M0. No, we've got ON. Uh, Oscar Tango 7 Zulu. Okay. Uh, thanks very much. Thanks for, uh, you know, thank you. I know I've got some bright lights here and, and that in the background, turn them down a bit. So, yeah, I just love making these kind of videos, learning that digi rig. Now, I know it's, I mean, it's tiny. It's not cheap because if you look at some of the shops, they're, they're more than £50. Pound. I'll put the Amazon link in. It came from America. No tax, no tariffs. Anyway, <laughs> um, and uh, the cable again came from America. No tariffs. Uh, hopefully that will all get sorted. Come on, America and USA. We love we love each other. Let's face facts. We support each other. Come on, massive fans of the USA. When I when I first got inspired by CB, it all came from the USA. Starsky and Hutch, all their radios and. Um, What's that film? That film, the trucker film, Hound. Oh, I feel, I know I shouldn't forget it. It's a classic. But hey, that trucker film with the CB. Tell me. Put it in the comments. And um, you know, we're all in spots. So I, you know, I, 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 I love England. I'm not an English guy. I'm, I'm from Cyprus. My parents are from Greece, from Cyprus. Yeah. Um, but I was born here in the UK, so I don't really know any different. And I don't go to Cyprus very often. My wife is English. And I have lots of kids, and most people think don't think their their dad is a Greek guy, but I am. Uh, I'm proud of it. But I live in England. But hey, am I a USA fan? Big time. Seven three. Take care.